okay so this edit route it requires row index so if we take a look at mm, this edit link it is pointing to slash edit slash i which is the index so let's see if that, that's the case we'll just edit file and here we will need use params from uh, react router dom okay so let's go to move this second one and here you can see at the bottom uh, it's showing the index is 1 and for the first one it's showing index is 0 so add it and here you can see row index 1 so let's just destructure row index we will also need use state Let's grab a state from add page because it will be the same. We will also need this handle change. And here we'll provide value. Data dot name on change handle change email and the last one message on submit and we will reference to handle submit function mm, let's grab yes let's just grab from my add page and the end pointer will be the same as the, the delete one slash and then row index and we have access to row index from a params it will be a port request mm, we also need history Okay, so I think it should work no 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 uh, we need to pre-populate this page so we will have to make a requ get request in use effect mm. so let's define a function here endpoint should be the same however it will be the get request now const data equals to await ref.json let's see what we get back and in use effect we will call this function
use effect is not defined okay so we got the response in form of array even though it's just one element in there but the response is array so at our first index and the name is Farhan Farooq first index the name is Farhan Farooq and if we go to the zeroth index the name is test which is this one okay so let's grab the first item because there will be only one item and to pre-populate the field we will need to set data to this um, data and the first index now as you can see these these fields are pre-populated so if i go to this next one all the fields are pre-populated and we have already written the handle submit functionality so let's try it out I'll change it okay so the content is updated as you can see we have the updated content and if we delete deleted deleted and the new message is added and here you can see it's added in the um, Google sheet also all right so that's the end we have uh, completed the entire CRUD functionality using Google Sheet, Sheet Best and React application.